Today on RUTV, we discuss the latest wildfires to hit Southern California. Then we go over the most recent school sporting events. And later, we introduce our new principal. It all starts right now on RUTV. Good morning, Seahawks. Today is Friday, May 21st. I'm Sophia Roberts. And I'm Tatum Brown. We've got a jam-packed episode today, so let's get right to it. First off, seniors, be prepared for five days of fun as Senior Spirit Week starts next week. Let's go to Panda and Kennedy for more information. Howdy, Howdy seniors. seniors. We'll be having a senior-only Spirit Week coming up soon. Monday, May 24th, we'll be wearing these senior shirts. Tuesday, we'll be wearing awesome 2000s gear. Wednesday, let's get cozy and come to class in our pajamas. Thursday will be our last day wearing our class colors. And Friday, let's all wear Redondo Red and celebrate a great high school career. Even though I'm not a senior, I'm still pretty excited to see what the seniors will wear next week. Speaking of exciting, prom is on June 4th. Seniors, make sure to purchase your ticket through the ASP Finance Office by Sunday for $80 with an ASP card or $90 without the ASP card. Tickets purchased after Sunday will cost $90 with the ASB card and $100 without. Prom is RUHS seniors only, no outside guests allowed. Prom starts at 7 p.m. and goes until 11 p.m. Food will be provided to all students. You will also need to show proof of double vaccination or a negative COVID test prior to entry. If you want to try out for Advanced Choir for Miss Self, you will need to get an audition, which will be until June 1st, on a rolling basis. You will need to prepare a simple song such as Happy Birthday, partake in a quick vocal exercise led by Miss Self to determine your vocal range, and lastly, an easy sight reading or tonal matching exercise. Email Miss Self for an audition slot. Dance God auditions for next year will take place in June. For more information, please email Mrs. Cindy Fries at cfries at rbusd.org. That's all for school announcements. Now for some national news. Some odd and confusing things have happened as gas prices have dramatically increased. Luckily, Karma Sarni is here to break it down. Hi, I'm Karma Sarni with your national news update. A cyber attack on Colonial Pipeline system prevented millions of barrels of gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel from reaching their destinations, causing a national shortage. As prices skyrocketed, some Americans turned to storing their own gasoline in bags or containers, but President Joe Biden advised against this. That's all for national news. Now back to Sophia. Joey Bosa, who plays for the Los Angeles Chargers, is one of the NFL's elite defensive ends. But Bosa is about more than the sport he plays. Here is Bosa speaking about the importance of mental wellness. For a long time, I, I mean, I was only focused on staying physically strong. And uh, it was a couple off seasons ago. I had a tough few months getting back into training. I was dealing with some pain working out. and. I was kind of in a, in a negative place. I was affecting the people around me negatively. I was snapping too quick on people, and it's something that I've always kind of been like that, and I've never really taken a step back and then realized that it's something that I need to work on. And uh, after a tough two months, my mom asked me if I wanted to still go see that therapist that I talked about seeing, and I was about to say no, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll go see him anyway. And ever since then, I've been seeing him once a week and meditating, and it's been a, a huge benefit for me. How good is Joey Bosa? Meditation is exercise for my mind. I'm usually doing it every single morning and then in the afternoon. One of the things that I really like to meditate on is gratitude and compassion. You know, you, you can go through your days and you're having a tough day and you get down on yourself and if you have that option to go to gratitude you can take that breath center yourself in the moment and it just helps you be a better person and appreciate things more that breath is huge for me because if i have a negative play i can get really in my head and, and stuck on that play which affects the rest of my game now being able to take that breath all right i messed up on to the next play. And when I'm focused in the moment, I'm gonna be playing exactly how I want to.
California wildfire season is starting with fires in Pacific Palisades. The fire is causing 1,000 people to evacuate, and as of Tuesday the 18th, 23% of the fire has been contained. This is just the start of what we know is going to be a long fire season over the next few months. Remember to stay safe and stay away from reckless acts that could cause potential fires. The RUHS sports teams have been dominant as usual. Let's go to Travis and Nathan with more details. What's up, Seahawks? Welcome to RUTV Sports. I'm Travis Wilkins. And I'm Nathan Robertson. Last Wednesday, softball destroyed Costa in an amazing game. Pitcher Carly Colco played great, hitting a massive home run at the top of the fourth inning to lead her team to victory 7-3. Girls soccer kicked off CIF playoffs with a big win against Valencia last Wednesday the 12th. They played a hard-fought game and led the entire time to come away with a big win 5-1. On Monday the 17th, boys basketball beat Peninsula 54-49 in a nail-biter. Tyler Dorn led Redondo with 11 points in this week's game. Team captain Bradley Bennett also showed up and set the tone early, helping this team towards a big win. Now jumping back to the past, last Wednesday, our boys beat Santa Monica High 48-45, sparking the fire for their back-to-back -back wins. Now, jumping over to girls basketball, our girls also made themselves heard and beat Bonita High School 53-44 last Saturday. Last Tuesday, boys lacrosse played an intensely close game against Oak Park. It was tied almost the whole game, but our boys didn't give up. With five minutes left in the game, senior Tobin Fix scored the tiebreaker to put them in the lead. In the last minute of the game, a Redondo player got a penalty, so our boys had to finish the game a man down, but they fought hard all the way to the last second for a big win, 9-8. Boys volleyball played modern day and came out on top, winning three of the four sets. Setter Jake Stimfig and outside hitter Riley Norman played like there was no tomorrow, helping them towards this big win against modern day. Girls lacrosse also played modern day on Monday. Unfortunately, they lost a tough game, 13-6. But this is only their first loss of the season, making their record 13-1. and one. Go, Go Seahawks! Seahawks! Beachbody's Club will be holding a plastic bottle and aluminum can drive to fundraise for the Para Ocean Conservation Organization. Boxes labeled with the Beachbody's logo will be placed at the admin building and at the school library for all of next week. South Bay Parkland Conservancy is looking for volunteers willing to plant around the amphitheater and dune hilltops at Hopkins Wilderness Park. If you are interested in volunteering, please sign up. There are several time slots and days to volunteer on. The Sign Up Genius link can be found in your school email. That wraps up this episode of RUTV. Stay healthy, stay safe. Have a great weekend. I'm Sophia Roberts. And I'm Tatum Brown. We'll see you next week. Keep, Keep on, on soaring, Seahawks! Seahawks.